Oh, might as well shoot a little video here. I'm about to take embark on a trip. Oh, it's probably three hours each way. I'm going to Pennsylvania and then back through New Jersey for a couple of uh, auction items. And uh, it so happens that they're just about an exit from each other, even though they're in different states. So uh, yeah, we'll got our little sandwich for the road and. Uh, Tire pressure is checked and we have the little hydraulic jack with us in case uh, and the spare is good so and we're fueled up so here we go to the text to stop to just stretch our legs and hit the road we are in New York84, 84, this way, down, down, over. You are here. Somewhere in this area, right? Right there. Alright, this is a little more accurate, so we're right there. And we'll continue on. Through Port Jervis, if I'm saying that right. New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, all here, so. Newton is where we're going for the Phillips. And over here, up in Exeter too, which is not on the map because it's Pennsylvania, is the Magnavox. Like this little garage door on the side. So just moments later, we hit our first traffic snarl. I've traveled 150 miles non stop, and we're at the Taconic Parkway interchange. interchange.
Okay, the GPS has misled us again. I hope we're at the uh, proper place, although it's telling us to turn around, but he did mention something about a gate, so let's pull up and see what we have. Okay, yeah, this is the place, and uh, luckily they had Wi-Fi, so I was able to email the uh, seller, and he called back because uh, I, I called and I texted to, uh, to no avail, and the security won't let me through, so says he'll be out in just a few minutes so that's a relief going to the GPS our other destination is only about 40 minutes away in New Jersey all right so this is called Lake Adventure in Milford Pennsylvania nice little town. oh and there's a quick shot of the turntable Okay, so we leave Lake Adventure. It looks like it's in the Delaware Forest. Uh, to our next destination in New Jersey, which uh, is about 40 minutes away. Boy, even out in the forest they have a toll. Stands in the road and collects your dollar. Dingman's Bridge. Okay. I swear I've been here before. Oh. gonna make us a little late but my friend needs a uh, starter a solenoid for his easy go golf cart so let's check this place out well that worked out well uh, they just happen to have a part in stock it's a 36 volt relay and uh, yeah and we got instructions on what else it might be or what to check but uh, we're pretty sure it's the relay keep saying relay solenoid okay, here we are in lovely Newton New Jersey I believe this must be the place grand opening right next to the happy walk well of course I knew this would happen that's a black and white. That's like the first set I had growing up. Out playing with the trucks on the highway here. check on how baby's riding here. We only have one strap. I have a cushion there to keep pressure off the circuit breaker which is right there. And 
and uh, trying to be clever with the knobs. We have the knobs from lessons of previous escapades. So there we have it. It's almost home. It's getting dark. I'll do one little check before things start getting creepy after dark around here. Phillips LED replacements. The men's room. It's sundown as we say goodbye to Hartford. So here we are the next morning, I put some plastic over it overnight to keep it. Got the knobs and other than a few bug splatters on the uh, side here. <laughs> Quite a few bug splatters. Uh, we're okay. Uh, maybe we'll get it in check the CRT. Uh, I'm trying to get the model number again for you, but I'll put that in the, uh, the video. We also have the legs, and this is interesting. All the sets have RCAs have this. These are the factory mounts where they would run a board across, and the sets would be on kind of a dolly while they were being manufactured. Being manufactured, there's one here and there's one. And you'll you'll see this on all the sets. Okay, back at home base here on the um, RCA, the CJ335. W, which is the CTC, CTC, KCS-159. Um, I just popped open the flyback to have a look because I found this, this piece of wire here, meaning someone's been in there at one point. looks like the anode cap or a piece of the anode wire or something, but in any event, there's trace evidence of something there. This is the 23H F P4A and it has a date code on it of the 52nd week of 67. So this is a 1968 set. I don't know if that 6846 designates that or not, but owner said it came on and then just lit up and went out. But look, I don't have a lot of faith in these original CRTs, 23 inch small neck. I just have never had much luck with them. Um, no brightener though, which is a good thing. So anyway, let's turn up the heat and uh, see what happens. Okay, bring our heater up to six or six point three here. The tube's lit, so that's good. We'll give it a minute and check emission. Okay, it's only been about a, a minute, not it hasn't been very long. I don't have any shorts. Uh, yeah, see, emission it does have a, just a bump. Let's set cut off. It does set, cut off does set. Just a little bump on the needle there. It is climbing slowly. We are going to plug this set in and see what it does. What the heck? In a little bit. And this was another rescue from the junk pile while we're waiting for that tube to warm up over there. I'm going to use this converter box. This set was left for dead. Um, it said working, has the owner's manual, and it looked like a clean set. so. I don't know what the heck. We'll try and see if somebody can make use of this. Um, volume control is a little dirty. That's it. Uh, what this does is, I was hoping to compare this to the other RCAs like this to see if uh, the color is good. But I, I just don't. These RCAs of this era is it just me? Um, there is a focus control on the back, but these always have a very soft 
picture to me. Like the focus is never, never, never clear. But I haven't touched the focus on this yet. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with this set. Not a scratch on it. We'll use this converter box on the black and white over there. I like the on off knob. All right, it's been about five or so minutes here. Here we go. It's down, but it's in the good. That's what I like to see. And I can set cut off even more. Oh, it's woke up nice. All right. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Okay, our converter box is attached. The power is off. I have 120 in the house and I have about 118 out here. Apply power. Don't forget to reattach the uh, CRT here. I'll switch over to watts. And uh, give it a pull and see what happens. It's humming. 86, 82, 79. For those of you, I hear high voltage. Oh, the crackle. For those of you that are young enough and lucky enough to hear 15,000 hertz, I'm happy for you. I had my ears professionally tested a few years ago, and I'm struggling at 13, 12. Hundred forty watts. Like, like filter capacitor type type noise. Okay, let's take a look at the front. Well, what do you know? That's not a bad looking picture. Tuning indicator is lit. Sound. Okay, well, why don't you try this? Oh, box line as if. Great box line. Naked grave, total game changer. Whoa, that's oh, ah, the capacitor on the vertical output is a bit weak. Mm, crazy, crazy signal problems. Of course, the sun here isn't helping any, but all right. All right. Hello, our set. Hello, Steve. They can take the car in the next five minutes. It took Although the lumps, lumps and bumps from I'll be right there. Taking care of your car. New Jersey, you okay. With Monarchy, save time and schedule your appointment. Rare case of foreign accent syndrome. This 33-year-old woman. A little buzz in the sound, but. She's lived in Texas all her life. So what? This. I'm a true Texan, born and raised. Lisa Alamia sure sounds like she's. <laughs> oh, this damn antenna here. She's kind of a mom of three who lives outside. No, 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 no. So weird, this box it does an echo, echo. Going on. Last, last, last. Oh, I hate this Philips antenna. I don't know why I use it, but okay. Why? Lisa was diagnosed with a bizarre medical condition known as foreign accent syndrome. Doctor Toby Yelpo is her neurologist. All right. I was skeptical at first, of course, trying to determine if it was. Let's do it for the RCA. 
this was not so other than the vertical lens being off a little bit up top it's uh it's pretty good and that's not a cycle bar that's in the camera that's not in the screen so there's no filter noise no 60 cycle nothing okay thanks for watching the RCA